You. You. Oh, my God. Well, this is one of the most horrible moments of my life. Well, it's not what I'd call an absolute corker. This is the first time I've, uh, you know, ever... Right. Funny. They said you were a regular. All right, uh, fair enough. All right, it's not the first time, granted, but I wouldn't call myself a regular. So what would you call yourself? Well, what about you? What the hell are you doing here? Property? Our Liam thinks you're into property. Yeah, and your Carla probably thinks you're down the snooker club or playing golf. She's my mate. Yeah, you're an escort. Ah, uh -huh. well, aren't you top of the class? You should know. You booked me. Well, yeah, well, not you, on purpose. God, this is a nightmare. I don't think we should, uh... No, obviously. You mad as well as desperate. Good. And nobody can find out about this either. You think I want it advertised? So what do we do, then? Well, I am going to have a drink. And then a nice, quiet heart attack. What about you? I might take the drink. There's no you and Liam. I got blow by blow details. Well, I got bits. He's surprisingly coy when it comes to it. It was one night and it's got nothing to do with you. He's my brother. And he likes you. I was with him last night and all he could talk about was you. And even if the idea of him shacking up with an escort might have amused me once, I don't think he'd be too thrilled. Who else knows? Janice. Look, I'm in no position to judge. No, you're not. Not that there's a problem between me and Carla, by the way. Huh? Isn't there? Why, what she said? Oh, don't worry. She's surprisingly coy when it comes to the details. It's just... I need to get away from things. Have someone... Have someone to talk to. <sighs> and don't tell me. You'd think it's more intimate with a stranger. If I had a pound for every time I've heard that. Well, I have had a pound, actually. More than a pound. And I'll tell you what else they think. They think I like them. They actually believe that. So how did it come to this? Since we're both in confession. Somebody broke me. And you think our kid can fix you? Well, he's funny. And funny's a start. No, he thinks he's funny. He has delusions of comedy. Well, he makes me laugh. And I like him. You uh, sure you're all right getting back? I think I'll manage. What is it I asked for again? A taxi? <laughs> but you breathe the word of this to anybody, and I mean... I'm a married man, remember? I hope I can trust you. Yeah, you can trust me. Listen, um, I'm not saying that Danny Baldwin ruined my life or anything. Yeah, well, I'm not saying I'm unhappy. But I reckon we'd be both better off knocking this game on the head. Well, that might be easy enough for you. Not so straightforward for me. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't need a tip. Go and take it. Just, uh, book another girl next time, eh? <sighs> there won't be a next time. What? Have I cured you? Warned me. Paul, you've got a beautiful wife and a decent business, so be careful, eh? You be careful too, yeah?